everyone today we're going to show you a tutorial on PLC SCADA interfacing using PLC Alan Bradley and SCADA Wonderwire in touch. In this part 2, a link for part 1 has been given in the description. So let's start the tutorial. This is the DOL starter program and it has been downloaded to the Microbiotics 1200 PS. Operate the output device in SCADA. We use start memory for start push button and stop memory for stop push button. In order to access this program in Wonderware Intech, it is necessary to create a topic in RSLINX Classic. So for that, open RSLINX Classic Gateway. We use DDE protocol, that is the Dynamic Data Exchange Protocol for communication. Click on DDE or OPC tab and click on Topic Configuration. A Topic Configuration window will be displayed. Click on the New button and create a new topic and select the MicroLogix. 1200 processor Click on apply and done Open Wonderware Intel So this is the application manager window. Here we can see the previously created user applications. So click on file and create new application from file new. So here is our application, so just double click on the application that we created and just open it. So this is the window maker, it can also be called as development window. Now create a new window by clicking on file new window. Click on special and then click on access name and uh, add a new access name. Uh, so uh, this is the access name window and the access name uh, we can give anything that we wanted but the RS link should be the application name and the topic name should be the same that we have already created in RS link and the protocol that we are using is DDD. This is the wizard window and it shows the available symbols and icons and we need for this program is two buttons and one light. Double click on the button and view a tag name and the action should be direct. We should define the tag name as input output display. From the access names, select the access name that we have already created. At the item, give the start memory address and it is p3 column 0 slash 0 
Similarly, do the same procedure for the other button and light. To run the application, click on Run Time. Now, the Window Viewer window has been displayed. It can also be called as Run Time Window. See, when the Start button is pressed, the output device is on and when the stop button is pressed, the output device gets off. Now the PSC program has been interfaced with the scanner and we can control the PSC program using scanner. This is the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.